Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another perfume review. And if you guys are subscribed to me, I sincerely apologize for the amount of time that it has been since I posted a perfume review. I realize I haven't filmed one since I moved. And let's just, let's dive right on into this. So the perfume that we are going to be talking about today is Viva La Juicy Glacé by Juicy Couture. And this is a, another flanker in the Viva La Juicy line, obviously, it is in the name. This is the box that the Eau de Parfum comes in. It is so girly and cute, of course. It is a Juicy Couture fragrance, and most of the Viva La Juicy's come in really cute boxes. This one is this pink to like sugary, sparkly white gradient with the silver text and it's just, it's so cute. And inside of that box, we have got the 3.4 fluid ounce size of the Eau de Parfum. This is such a cute bottle. I wouldn't expect any less from a Viva La Juicy fragrance, but I love this sparkling pink glitter on the like glazed white. It really does look like a glaze on a donut or a cake or something. It's just beautiful. And then of course it's got a cute little pink ribbon with some pink fluff and a little white and pink rose. Of course the classic like crystal topper. Now inside of this adorable bottle, the top notes of this fragrance are mandarin, cassis, pear, and sorbet. The middle notes are jasmine and orange blossom. And the base notes are amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. This is yet another gooey sweet gourmand from Juicy Couture. And I'm pretty sure this is a limited edition flanker to the Viva La Juicy line. And if you guys are interested in checking out this uniquely delicious fragrance after you finish watching this review of it, duh. I will try to find a link to it and I will put it in the description box down below for you guys. But this perfume is a great mix of white floral and sweet fruity citrus notes. That first spray, I get this delicious fresh pear sorbet. It just smells like a summer treat. It's as if you're a kid and you've been playing out in the sun on the lawn all day with your neighbors and finally the sun is like kind of setting behind the trees, there's that warm breeze and you hear that ice cream man jingle and he comes down your block and you get yourself like a delicious fruity popsicle which honestly was never me. I always got myself a cone with like rainbow sprinkles on it. Comment down below guys, what was your go-to from the ice cream truck? Because mine would be a chocolate cone with rainbow sprinkles. It has nothing to do with this fragrance, but that's just, that's what I would go for. As this perfume starts to fade a little bit, more of those white florals come out to play. And those white floral middle notes make this fragrance just a little bit less sugary sweet, but that warm, delectable base of that amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. That classic combo that just steals my heart every single time. Keeps this fragrance cozy and sweet. Having the name Glacé is perfectly suiting for this fragrance as it is a scent that is like fruit coated in glossy, sweet, sugar crystals. I would say this fragrance is perfect for spring and summer wear since it feels so fruity and light and it's sweet in this fresh way. It's not like weighing you down and smothering you in warm, gooey sweetness, even though I feel like I used the word gooey already to describe this perfume. It's gooey, but like in a not too like gooey way. Does that make sense? I have said the word gooey way too many times. And I also think this fragrance is perfect for daytime wear. This fragrance can definitely be worn by people of all ages, but this probably will appeal to a younger crowd. Some may find this sickly sweet, but I'm a sucker for gourmand goodness. The sillage on this fragrance is pretty moderate. People will smell that you smell nice, and I would say that the longevity is just about six hours, which is not the best, but it's still relatively okay. I'm just giving it a sniff now. I have been wearing it for about three hours at this point today, and I would say that it has definitely worn down from that sweet pear, like icy ice cream scent. What are those called? Like icy ice creams. I guess sorbet. <laughs> so it's kind of worn down from that. I definitely still am picking up on that like citrusy mandarin-ness and definitely white florals. And of course I smell that like amber sandalwood warmth coming in a little bit. It smells really good and 
I definitely am going to be wearing this one more now that it is 100% summer here. It is so hot. I have a fan over my head right now keeping me from melting. It's barely working. <laughs> I think that is just about all that I have to say about Juicy Couture's Viva La Juicy Glace. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this perfume review, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me and it'll remind me that I need to do more perfume reviews because I know, I know that I've been slacking and I sincerely do apologize. I would love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms. I always have links to them all in the description box down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.